So here's my message to you. Pull up your big girl pants, your big boy pants, your gender neutral pants, and do something. Keep hope alive. Fight for this country. One of the reasons I'm excited to be here at the Climate Center is I don't know whether a former EPA administrator would ever think to be standing here talking to you about energy policy, but they're so intertwined these days because of issues of, of public health, clean air, but now climate change as well. The Carnot Prize is the biggest day of the year at the Climate Center for Energy Policy and the event that brings the University of Pennsylvania and the wider community together to celebrate the achievements of a particular individual. I see clean energy happening in this country, not because I want it for a public health standpoint or for climate, but because it's the economy stupid. How often do I get to say that? <laughs> you know, it's cheaper. You know, it is actually winning in the race. You've got states like Iowa and Texas with more renewable energy in their portfolio by percentage than other states. This year's Carnot Prize winner Former EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy epitomizes the courage, the creativity, and the commitment needed to make great changes in energy policy and in human society. Gina has a life in public service. And while driving a clean energy future is about everyone, it's about cities, it's about individuals, it's about companies, it also is a lot about public sector leadership. And she has provided that for three decades or more. One of the reasons why I'm here is because the students today here at the Kleinman Center and across the University of Pennsylvania, they sort of get it. They want to base their thoughts in reality and really good analysis and really strong science and engineering. The things we've relied on to make us such a great country and in fact to underpin such a strong economy. It's very timely to give the prize to Gina McCarthy this year uh, because it's really important right now to bring science to public policy and she's that bridge between science and public policy and, and brings um, sort of the savvy uh, spunkiness and plain spokenness uh, that is really important right now. I tell people that the 21st century is about putting Humpty Dumpty together again. Uh, that means interdisciplinary work, that means work across centers, so design centers, energy centers, uh, risk centers. It's about so much and the Climate Center being where it is and linking to all of these other endeavors is the vision we need for the future. When I was listening to Gina's remarks and, and sort of looking at the students and realizing how important it, this topic is for future generation. Uh, really, we're quite literally looking at the future of the planet. I want to come here not to impart anything to them because they give me hope. They make me understand that they are as bright, as knowledgeable, as, as socially conscious a generation as we have ever seen. And so if I ever wanted to rely on anyone, it's the students here. And I think that's what gives me hope at times of great uncertainty. Um, and uh, the only thing I regret is that maybe I won't be handing to them as good a world as I would have liked to. But I'm perfectly confident that they'll take it and run with it.